gosh peeps welcome to my channel in today's video i have um for you i think it's part two i'm pretty sure it's part two almost positive it's part two of my um black friday haul um and so i don't want to waste too much time because i have a ton of polishes to show to share with you guys i was going to split it into two videos because i think i have 21 polishes but I'm not going to split it. We're just going to get into it. And um, I'm going to try not to be so super chatty because 21 polishes would probably literally take me maybe 30 minutes. But here I am already chatting. So <laughs> let's get on with it. So I, um, for Black Friday, I actually hit um, Glam Polish pretty hard. I love their polishes. They're one of the first indie brands that I purchased from. Um, I just love how blingy they are and how glittery they are. Um... I just really enjoy glam polishes so much and so i think i picked up one two three four five six seven eight nine polishes from glam um they had a really good sale y'all i just couldn't pass it up i can't remember what the sale was maybe 50 percent off um and so i couldn't pass it up so the first one that i got is revenge of the fifth and it is mm, this glittery multi-chrome um it's got a lot of holographic glitters in it um just a lot of shimmer going on um i can't even tell you what color this polish is because it is so incredibly shifty here it is on the swatch stick and this is two coats with top coat um and it's coming across a little dark here but and I do think it does have like a, maybe a gray base, but it has some really gorgeous multi-chrome shift, uh, multi-chrome flakies in there, shifting flakies that are really pretty. So again, that is Revenge of the Fifth. Um, the other one I picked up is She's Basically a Wizard. Y'all, this polish right here just reminds me of a mermaid on your, mail, on your nails. <laughs> Like, it is so freaking gorgeous, and the color's coming across a little, I don't it's it's kind of color accurate, it's in, it's in a, like a navy or like a teal base, and it has like a bunch of um, multi-chrome flaky shifting from like purple to, and you can't see the green, but they do shift to green, you can see the green just a little bit, um, but those purple flakies are just really gorgeous. You can see them there here it is on the swatch stick again two coats with top coat um, this one's really pretty I think this would be gorgeous with some stamping on top but also just it has it's gonna have that pond effect on your nails which I really enjoy um, in a jelly base so that is again I'm trying to be really good about telling you guys names because I know I leave them out a lot of times She's basically a wizard. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about that. Um, hey, Big Spender. This is Black Friday. I want to say this is the the Black Friday polish or um, the extra polish that I got. Like the one that like if you purchase so many or so much, you get an extra polish. And so this one is Hey, Big Spender. It says Black Friday 2019. And it's this gorgeous like wine color. Um, with a bunch of um, like silver glitters and holographic glitters and flakies. Um, again, with the flakies, you guys know I love some flakies. And you can kind of see that silver um, holographic glitter in there. Here it is on the swatch stick. I think all of these, with the exception of maybe two, are two coats with top coat. I really love this deep burgundy wine shade i think it looks really pretty so again that one is hey big spender i also got the dark crystal 2.0 i don't know what 1.0 was but this looks freaking amazing and this has it is chock full of flakies um and they're really pretty and this is kind of a deeper wine base um it does have a different color purple base i'm going to show you the two of these next to each other so you can kind of see the difference in the color and so this one over here has a little bit more 
purple in it or this one has a little bit more red in it but they're both gorgeous beautiful um and there's a good look at all those flakies again with the silver holographic glitters here it is on the swatch stick i really love this color purple you guys this color purple is so deep dark sexy vampy <laughs> whatever you want to call it it is freaking amazing um so that's going to be really pretty on the nails i'm looking forward to wearing that one um also Dougal my demi guys 2.0 again i don't know what 2. Point, or 1.0 was but this one is actually one of the ones that i had three coats on you could probably do this one as a topper even with one coat of this one it is very uh dense on the nails so kind of depends on what look you're going for but this is just amazing in a I want to say it looks like it's in just a little bit of a tinted base, like a, a gray tint with a bunch of holographic glitters. It's just full of them. Um, this would be another good one for winter <laughs> for that snow effect on the, on the nails. Um, this one is just really pretty. I really like this one. So I did three coats to be to get it opaque on the swatch stick. And those holographic glitters just really pop off the nail. Um, and there's several different sizes, which makes this one really interesting. So it looks like you probably at three coats can maybe still make out my, um, my nail line. But do you really care when you have all of this like glittery goodness in here? I think the holographic kind of just like makes my... Um, visible nail line disappear. I don't know about y'all, but the hollow is gorgeous. So I also got Hey Puddin. Um, and this one's in a gray base with a bunch of like different color glitters and flakies floating around in there. Um, this one's really pretty. I really like this one as well. It looks really fun. It's, I mean, it's got like pink and blue um looks like some purple all kinds of different glitters going on in there and it's really fun on the swatch stick I, when i swatched this one i was like really excited this one looks really pretty so that's hey pudding i feel like that's an appropriate name i don't know why it just fits <laughs> um i also got your worst dream come true this one looks like it's in a navy blue base again with the glitter goodness this one looks like it's more glitters than flakies it's got a lot of um like uh, a lot of glitters in here but also just some like shifty um shimmer going on there it's like green and purple you can kind of see it a little bit there green and purple shifting here it is on the swatch stick i don't know in the bottle, it looks like it's in a navy base, but on the swatch stick, it looks more purple. So, <laughs> you guys can make that decision for yourself. It's very dark, very dark purple, leaning blue, navy-ish. <laughs> That's the best description I can give you guys. I hope that helps. Um, also, I got Horcrux which is a, again, just like, it's got so much holographic going on. You guys can kind of see that holographic rainbow effect going right there. And some flakies, of course. I don't know. Glam Polish just does flakies and glitter so well, you guys. Um, and sometimes I feel like when you have all the flakies and the glitters in there, like the formula gets thick, but these formulas um, aren't thick to me, which is really nice. I don't know if you guys can tell. I want to kind of show you. Like, this is not a thick formula to me. And if I live swatched it, you guys could see better. But um, I do think sometimes with a lot of glitters and a lot of flakies, it gets kind of thick. But these don't um, swatch thick at all. 
Here is Horcrux on the swatch stick. I really like this one too, y'all. This one's really pretty. You can kind of see some like um, iridescent flakies coming through on this one too. That's really pretty. Um, the last one that I got from Glam Polish, Shine On You Crazy Diamond. And you guys know I like a lot of bling. So this one is totally blinged out with those purple glitters. And those are glitters. This is this might actually be the only one that I got that doesn't have any flakies in it. It just has tons of glitter goodness in there. It's really pretty. Purpley named. And again, with the hollow there. Check that out. That's really gorgeous. And here it is on the swatch stick. And this one. Shine on, you crazy diamond. You can actually kind of see. You know how diamonds have that little rainbow effect if it's a real diamond? I think this polish... Um, shows that off like really well. This is three coats actually on the swatch stick. I put dots sorry, on here so I know if it's three coats. But yeah, that one's really pretty. I'm looking forward to wearing that one of course as well. At the end of this video I will try to tell you guys which ones are my favorites. Right now I have no idea. So we'll see how that <laughs> see how that happens at the end of the video. Um, I also picked up four from Paint and Polish. They had a pretty good sale. I love paint and polish as well. I think they do, um, their formulas are amazing. So I picked up this one called Naughty Nudist. It's a beautiful kind of like champagne color with the holographic glitters in there. It's really pretty, really pretty, really beautiful. Um, and that hollow, you guys, which I can't ever get it to come across on my camera but just look at how this one just glistens and shines it's so pretty so here it is on the swatch stick again with all the glistening and shining it's kind of dulled down a little bit on the swatch stick um with my lighting in here but if i turned the lighting down you guys would see all of that bling in there it is so pretty i really like this one this one just really shines off the nail again that's naughty 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 spelled N-A-U-T-I, nudist. Um, and I also picked up this gorgeous hollow right here. It's called Taupe Temptation, I think. Um, it's again, kind of a champagne color, which you guys can't see, but you can see all of that hollow right there. This one is hollowed out. I'm talking about like bling. And it's a little bit of a lighter champagne color which is coming across darker on here, but it is lighter than this one. So I'm gonna hold those two up so you can see them because they are kind of similar. Um, and actually, I guess it is a little darker than Naughty Nudist. This one has way more hollow in it. This one has just a bunch of like crazy glittery shine. Um, here is Taupe Temptation on the swatch stick. Again, you guys can't see that hollow, but this one is darker. Um, I think I said lighter, but that's not the truth. <laughs> it's darker, but it's still really pretty. I um, am specifically looking forward to wearing this one because of the hollow, which you guys cannot see on the swatch stick, but it is, um, it is there on the nail when you swatch it. I also got Mad for Merlot, again, with these dark um, sort of wine-colored um, wine colored grape shades, like purple shades. I love them so much. I need them all. And this one has hollow. <laughs> Hello, hollow. <laughs> I love you so much. This one's so pretty, you guys. And it has a bunch of, which you can see, um, silver micro glitters going on in there really pretty here it is on the swatch stick and you know i probably need to shake it up when i swatch it because you can't see those glitters you can kind of see them a little bit i think it's um like kind of buried under this dark base a little bit but the little bit that pops out you guys if you can see it it's just like it looks like stars on the nail look at that that looks amazing can't wait to wear that one and again it's purple. 
Purple My Jam. The last one I picked up is this beautiful topper, um, Pretty as a Peacock. I have been wanting this one, like eyeballing it for a really long time, and I finally just said, you know what, I'm going to get it. It is gorgeous. So pretty. This one um, does get opaque on the nails. You can see a little bit still of your nail and your nail line or your nail bed when you swatch this at three coats, but again, all these beautiful multi-chrome flakies, um who really cares like who really cares how much of your um nail line you can see but i want to say have i worn this one i don't know i cannot remember you guys how horrible is that i may have worn this one um if i've worn it i'll insert a pic but i think i wore it as a topper when i wore it um here it is three coats on the swatch stick and like i said you can kind of see you can see your nail line, but those flakies are so pretty. And they shift. I'm I keep trying to get the get y'all to see the shift and you can't see it. Like right here it looks green. I, I don't know y'all. Lighting is crazy. Um, so those are the four that I picked up from Paint and Polish. And then I hit a D stash pretty hard. Well, I say I hit it hard. It was like one price, um, like for flat box rate which ended up being eight polishes and so i got eight mystery polishes um so i'm gonna share that with you guys now the first one i got is deep fried turkey now i don't really like browns but i feel like i really need some browns and some neutral shades in my collection and some creams you know some things like that aren't blinging although i love the bling so i'm really appreciative that i got this in the d stash although it is not my jam i'm sure i'll find a way to use it um and it's just this basic brown cream kind of reminds me of chocolate or coffee <laughs> um and that's kind of what it looks like on the nail there's not it's just your basic cream but it is actually a pretty color on me color on me so um i'm sure i'll find an occasion to wear this and it's just it's a really nice formula again y'all I, I always forget to mention and i do that because i don't want to make the video really long and so as a disclaimer unless if it's a bad formula i'll let you guys know but all of these are just amazing formulas i there's not a bad formula in the bunch um this cream included that's two coats with top coat um, also in that D stash, which I, did I mention it was a D stash? I think I did mention it was a D stash. <laughs> it's too cold here for you by, this is the only one I have from this brand, Love Angeline. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that pronunciation, pronunciation, but it's this beautiful shimmery gold polish. I don't have too many golds in my collection. Um, and so I'm happy to have this one and I think it'll be beautiful with some stamping on it um which you guys know i am all about stamping and trying new things with stamping and i'm really learning a lot about nail art so i'm looking forward to stamping on this one it's gorgeous on the nail um look at that i think that's gonna be so pretty it's a little bit closer look um so again it's too cold for you here <laughs> trying to remember the names guys um, I also got this one from Cupcake Polish. I do have a couple of polishes from Cupcake Polish. This one's called Cheers to You. I'm assuming that it was at some point a, maybe it was a New Year's polish or something. I'm shaking it up because it kind of settled and like, there's a lot of pink at the top. This beautiful pink polish with that foily finish and some, looks like, are these flakies? I can't tell if they're flakies or glitters. I want to say they're flakies. Maybe some flakies and glitters. And a little bit of hollow, which you can see there. I'm so glad the hollow is actually coming across today. This one's really pretty on the nail as well. Here it is on the swatch stick. Um, and those flakies come across really pretty. I'm actually kind of digging this one, y'all. I don't usually gravitate towards pinks. I do have probably in the list, uh, in the order of polishes that I have, um, purple, then blues, then pinks. Um, so they're in there like with the top, 
five. <laughs> but this one's really pretty. I'm really going to enjoy that one. I also got Sea of Tranquility. And this is a Palish Polish. <laughs> you guys probably laugh at me every time I say that because I laugh at myself. It's just a beautiful teal with like silver. I think those are silver flakies, you guys. I'm not wearing my glasses. They're coming across kind of silver gold. I don't know. You guys can make your own assessment. They are like a very unique shade of flakies. Maybe glitters. I don't know. I can't really tell because I don't have my glasses on. And it's a really deep base. So you can kind of see them a little bit, but they're not super apparent on the nail. But this color is really gorgeous. I really like this. And it's coming across really darker. A lot darker on the swatch stick than it is in the bottle, I think. I don't know if you guys can tell how much darker it is. But that's how it swatches. I'm going to say these are gold because like when I hold it up like this, they look gold. I mean, they're really pretty. I really um, think that they're pretty on the nail and it does add a little bit of like a sea effect or ocean effect on your nail. And that's a really color, uh, really pretty color teal as well. Um, it's gold. It's got it's to be gold. I'm looking at it again. Um, also, I got this really pretty... Um, holographic this one is called keep an ocean mind um it's another really pretty tilly greeny color <laughs> with that hollow in there and that um what's the word i'm looking for it's not a foil foil finish it is a it will come to me different kind of finish not foil I don't know. Anyway, it's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful hollow. Um, I don't know why I keep, I keep one. My mind keeps saying magnetic finish, but that's not it. You guys know what I'm talking about. It'll come to me and then I'll pop it in here and I'll be like, this is what I'm talking about. Um, keep an ocean mind. This is three coats on the swatch stick. And again, when I put it on the swatch stick, you can't see. Well, you can kind of see the hollow a little bit. Um, this one has a ton of hollow and it is really pretty. So gorgeous. Looking forward to wearing that one. This is another brand that I do not own. This is the only one I own and I don't even know how to say this. Elegy, maybe? Elegy? We'll say Elegy. I'm going to say Elegy. And it's, I like a pretzel day. Um, it is a like light pink. Like a, I don't know baby pink and it has some blue and pink shimmer going on this is really pretty too i like these like kind of um muted colors with um a, like that little light shimmer going on i think it's very sophisticated and dainty and um it makes your nails look really polished and so i'm looking forward to wearing this one it is also gorgeous on the swatch stick, which I hope all that you can really see those the shimmer from where I'm at. And of course, on here you can't really see it, but if you can kind of see how it's like blinging right now, right there, that's that shimmer coming out. It is very gorgeous, very pretty. Um, I like Pretzel Day is the name of that one. And then I also got this one. Another brand I don't have. This is the only one I have. And I, that's the other reason that I really enjoy getting uh, mystery bags from D Stashes because I tend to get a lot of brands that I don't own. And some of them are like older brands that, you know, may or may not exist anymore. And so then I'm like, yes, I scored a polish that, you know, I didn't know about, didn't know about the brand and um, doesn't exist anymore. So I'm like, and if it's a good one, I'm like, yeah, I really scored. So this is Dr. Lacquer. Um, and this is called Annette. Annette. We're going to say Annette, even though it's not A-N-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. It's A-N-N-A-T-T-E, but we're going to say Annette. And it is beautiful. Another pink with some gorgeous shimmer going on in there. Hope you guys can see the shimmer. This is a little bit darker pink than... Um, I like Pretzel Day. I'll show you guys the difference. Okay, it's a lot of bit dark pink. But you can kind of see the shimmer in this one. It's really gorgeous. It's really like light, 
um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like very fine, hollow, um, but it's really pretty. And of course, on the swatch stick, you won't be able to see it, but it's a really pretty pink. <laughs> you can kind of see a little bit of that shimmer in there. Here, just on the swatch stick, I'd probably, this is two coats, and I'd probably maybe do three with this one, because you can still see quite a bit of my nail line there. You guys, this one's really pretty. I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. <laughs> ah, all the time. Every time I do a video, I'm just like, can you see? It's so pretty. Um, this one is Native War Paints, which I do have some Native War Paints. And this one is Cardigan Sweater. Beautiful purple, beautiful shimmer. Hope you guys can kind of see that shimmer in there. This one is gorgeous. And now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to top coat this one and it's kind of dull on the swatch stick. So let me top coat it real quick because I want you guys to see how pretty this one is. I really love this shade of purple. And um, maybe you can see the shimmer a little more if I top coat it. But uh, this one I actually forgot to put on the swatch stick and I did it right before this video. So um it's really pretty this is a gorgeous shade of purple i don't even think i have this <laughs> y'all are gonna laugh at me i'm like i don't even have this shade of purple i probably have something close to it i mean it could be close to it like darker or close to it like lighter but i don't have this shade so ebony needs it ebony needs it all <laughs> look how pretty that is and i didn't really top coat it that well but you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about that is a really gorgeous color purple Really loving that, so pretty. And you can kind of see that shimmer since I top coated it, so yay! Makes me happy when you guys can see what I see. Okay, we did it, 27 minutes. We did it in less than 30 minutes. I want you guys to know how much I really appreciate you guys for joining me and um, giving me a reason to share my love of polish with you guys. I love it so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. There's so much more to come. More swatching, more hauls, more nail art, more stamping, more everything. I hope you guys will join me in the future. If you did enjoy this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe. Hit that notification button so you guys can see future videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!